Earlier last year, I covered Alien Xenocide by Tall Glass Games, a thrilling blend of arcade platformer action and tower defense. I'm happy to say the developers are back with an exciting new project, building on lessons learned there and seeking some additional funding for Kickstarter. If you've been keeping an eye on all things Tall Glass, you probably know exactly what they've been up to. Their Twitter following has skyrocketed beyond my initial recommendation, and it's been exciting to witness their maturation as a studio alongside the overwhelmingly positive response from their audience regarding their developments. That goes too for the strongest barometer of popularity, the size of their Discord and unique memes. I'd recommend giving them a follow to keep up to date on the latest goings on. But the team has let me out their latest demo a few days early to check out what's been cooking, and I'm excited to share my initial thoughts on their latest and greatest achievement. Boom Buster To give the quick blender pitch, imagine a single screen acrobatic puzzle platformer, where your task is to complete the bob -omb sorting minigame from Super Mario 64 DS. As the nimble, saggy pants buster, it's your task each stage to swiftly navigate scaffolding, sort missiles dropped onto the stage by his partner Bridget, and drop them into colour-coded pens. Although these stages aren't time per se, there's only a few seconds between explosives landing and going boom, denting your free pipped health bar and potential high score. As stages progress, bombs begin to crop up in wackier spots and sequences, creating situations akin to classic Game & Watch titles where you'll zip back and forth, snatching and slinging explosives. Fortunately, navigating these manic minefields is a blast, thanks to Boom Buster's fantastic controls. Your move set, a double jump, backflip, air dash and ground slide, are all fast and flexible, making stage traversal a thrill. When enemies and obstacles join the fray, they quickly become opportunities to extend your airtime and movement combos. Anecdotally, the moment I discovered that I could throw bombs through the scaffolding beneath my feet to a pen below, I let out an audible sound of joy as I realised this opened far more opportunities for optimization. At its best, Boom Buster lets you seamlessly chain bounces, bashes and bomb drops, delivering the same thrills as balletic character action games. The controls, which would feel fantastic in a traditional side-scrolling platformer, are even more impressive in this single-screen puzzle-action arcade game. The concept of throwing bombs into pens may have been done in minigame format already, but turning a touchscreen pointer into a little buster does wonders for the challenge. Unlike typical iPhone and PC puzzle games that just ask you to drag pieces or rotate shapes, having to manipulate these elements for an on-screen character is a style of puzzle rarely explored, and it's a shame because it has a layer of challenge and cohesiveness that enhances the experience. By simplifying mechanics to what a platform character can and can't do, every puzzle becomes easy to approach, while allowing the developers to create impressively complex stages. Speaking of which, Boom Buster's closest inspiration for stage design might be Donkey Kong 94, Nintendo's reimagining of the arcade classic with added mechanical magic. Your bomb dropper doesn't get more convoluted with power-ups, but instead each stage introduces a new interactive gimmick that evolves and becomes more challenging. It starts with moving platforms and enemies, before introducing switches that change block visibility, one-way gates and pen-blocking jellies. These obstacles explain themselves without tutorials, and the variety already in the demo has me excited for what else Tall Glass has in store. The end of the demo teases Donkey Kong Country style cannons, and platforms, enemies and bombs that move on tracks, hinting at stages that will push the limits of Boom Buster's arcade action, and challenge me to master its moveset. According to the developers, the demo only hints at what they have in store. What ties Boom Buster together is a trendy yet unique aesthetic. Its soundscape channels the best of Jet Set Radio, and its art style vibes with Newgrounds animations, making it a joy to look at and listen to. Buster and Bridget, both on the stage and in static arcade windows, squash and stretch with exaggerated posing and fun detail, balancing legibility in the heat of action with loads of personality. There's already a flood of fan art circulating at the pair, and it's easy to see why. They're visually appealing, and their world hints at further adventures beyond the game. But my favourite aspect huh, of Boom Buster is one you may not have appreciated, its layout design. It merges the best of modern platformers and arcade classics. 
Instead of excessive side scrolling, the action takes place on a legible single screen with some tracking left and right, fitting neatly in a nearly square format. The developers achieve a palatable 16x9 ratio by pushing all user interface elements to the right, like a classic arcade title. Here you'll see bombs served up like Tetris by Bridget, your points, remaining health, and bonus items. This simple design ensures that you never have to scan the screen for secondary information, keeping you locked into the action while maintaining awareness of your goals. It perfectly captures what Buster excels at, a small, incredibly polished arcade game where a little goes a long way. Content isn't diluted to meet unnecessary expectations of playtime, because instead it's a game designed to be replayed and mastered. While its movement mechanics, art style, and soundscape could and absolutely would benefit a traditional side-scrolling platformer, Tall Glass have boldly chosen to use these facets to breathe new life into the often overlooked genre of puzzle platformers. With this year's remake of the GBA classic Mario vs Donkey Kong, Buster finds itself in excellent company among puzzle platformers. Yet, like the best indie games, Buster manages to outshine even Nintendo at their own game. I hope that, with a successful Kickstarter campaign, I won't have to compare Boom Busted too often to classic influences because it has the potential to become a new arcade classic itself. However, for Boom Busted to reach its full potential, it needs your support. I hope you're excited as I am about the game's future. With your help, those promises can become a reality. The demo will soon be available through Kickstarter for you to try out for yourself, and there's plenty I've left out of this initial look for you to discover firsthand. If you do, let me know in the comments what you think. If you're interested in seeing more of Boom Buster and what Tall Glass have in store, then make sure to keep up with their development over on social media and their upcoming Kickstarter campaign.